The Yanks are coming. Former U.S. soldiers are signing up to fight the Russian military. These Ukrainian resistance fighters are being trained by retired U.S. Army General Paul Gray from Tyler, Texas. He spoke with Inside Edition from a secret location in Ukraine. Sergeant Gray previously served in the legendary 101st Airborne. Me and a platoon of Americans are trying to train as many Ukrainians as possible for combat operations, for guerrilla warfare, for insurgency. Um, and we're trying to kill as many people that are trying to kill Ukrainians. 45-year-old Andrew Bennett, a carpenter from Bayonne, New Jersey, is also volunteering. Are you planning on jumping right into the fray? Are you planning on fighting? I'm not going over there to play Rambo. I'm going over there because I'm able-bodied, I'm strong, I'm fit. I can carry people, I can drag people off the floor. I can, pa I can bandage people up. About 16,000 volunteers from the U.S. and other countries have already joined Ukraine's struggle for freedom. It's turning into an epic David versus Goliath war. It's claimed the Russians have lost 11,000 soldiers and 285 tanks so far. This is the moment a Russian helicopter was brought down by a Ukrainian missile. Ukraine also claims to have sunk a Russian warship in the Black Sea port of Odessa. And these soldiers are firing at a Russian drone. A New York Times reporting team was just a few yards away when a Russian shell exploded. Stay there! All right. Tragically, a woman and her two children were killed. Thousands of civilians, mostly women and children, are fleeing the fighting under artillery fire. This baby was rushed to the ER with shrapnel wounds, but he didn't make it. And there are also moments that are inspiring the world. This bride and groom were married in their military gear. This young musician's haunting violin solo lifted spirits in a bomb shelter. And this little girl in a shelter is singing Let It Go from Frozen in Ukrainian. Just listen to the reaction. Bravo, bravo,